Major premium increases, high deductibles, and private insurers getting out. With all these problems continuing to plague the Affordable Care Act, or Obamacare, Democrats are now suggesting another option that could turn President Obama's signature health care law into something else entirely. Correspondent Rich Edson reports. The Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act is passed. In President Obama's first year, Congress overhauled the American health care system. Even before the end of the Obama administration, Democrats are pushing a major change to Obamacare. It's called the public option, the creation of a government-run health insurer designed to compete with private insurance companies. Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton and a large group of congressional Democrats are now pushing the idea. I think we're seeing the public option come back out of desperation, quite frankly. Uh, we've seen uh, the United Health groups, the, the Aetnas of the world, withdraw from widespread participation in exchanges. Last month, Aetna announced it was withdrawing from 11 of the 15 states where it offers Obamacare plans. The company says it has lost hundreds of millions of dollars in Obamacare. United Healthcare and Humana have made similar announcements. Critics charge that even with tax subsidies to help customers pay, Obamacare insurance plans are still too expensive. Too few customers are signing up, and the system, they say, is unsustainable. Dr. Jeffrey Barkey, a supporter of Republican nominee Donald Trump, claims the law's designers intended these results. The reality is we had to pass this bill to watch its collapse in order for us to get to single-payer government health care, that is the only thing that makes sense to me with this Obamacare demise death spiral as we're currently seeing. Democrats blame insurance companies for what they say is service to shareholders instead of patients. More than two dozen Senate Democrats joined a resolution declaring that, quote, giving all Americans the choice of a public, nonprofit health insurance option would lead to increased competition, reduced premiums, cut wasteful spending on administration, marketing, and executive pay, and ensure customers have the affordable choices they deserve. One economist says a public option may help reduce health care costs, though with Republicans in control of Congress, he says changes to regulations to help and compel insurance companies are the most realistic ways to improve Obamacare. I think these measures uh, would sustain competition at an adequate level within the health insurance exchanges. Over time, I think it, competition can and should grow. As for President Obama on Democratic efforts to change Obamacare, he says they are improvements, as he supported the public option while Congress debated the bill in 2009. He suggests in the Journal of American Medicine that Congress should also increase government subsidies for those buying Obamacare insurance. Brett? On this with the panel. Rich, thank you.